Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for August 23rd. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. And this reading is not sign specific. This reading is for somebody. I don't know who. I feel like today is a day of enjoying life, stability, security, feeling more stable, feeling more secure, feeling more at ease, feeling more peaceful, getting your life back on track. It's a day of regaining stability. Planning. Refocusing. Yeah. It's time to start over. I know that was yesterday's, but that's what just popped into my head. Today is a day. It's like it's a new beginning. You know? Starting over. Starting from scratch in some way. It's like starting with a clean slate. No more... It's like, playtime is over. Playtime is over. It's time to buckle down. What do we got for the 23rd? Regaining focus, really. That's what this is. It's about regaining focus, getting back on track. That's what I keep hearing. hearing getting back on track. We're going to get back on track. It's time to get back on track. What do we got for the 23rd? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. We're getting one of these for an overall energy. Financial and material changes. This is the Five of Pentacles. So this is exactly what the card says. Financial and material changes. This is... Um, Dealing with your abandonment issues. Maybe you have abandoned the plan. Or somebody has abandoned the plan. And now they're about to make a change so that they can bring security back. It's like somebody has made some poor choices that has caused them some sort of, you know, to be on thin ice, right? To be on thin ice. It's whatever choices they have made has caused them to just about, you know, have some sort of loss. Now it's a time to... Buckle down. Maybe ask for help. Come up with a plan. Set a goal. Somebody is very worried. Some, you know, that Five of Pentacles is a card of worry. It's a card of poverty. Um, and insecurity. And I think somebody has brought that upon themselves by going into some sort of situations blindly somebody may have been wasting their money or wasting their time or doing something that wasn't very practical and now they're on thin ice and it's time to really get down to business what do we have for the 23rd huh king of pentacles absolutely it's time to get down to business. <laughs> that is, I mean, the King of Pentacles, Pentacles is focused on work, focused on money, focused on, you know, building his abundance. This guy is a planner. He sets a goal and he works hard to obtain it. So it feels like we have somebody here that is really, you know, buckling. It's about my money now. It's about my financial stability. It's about my security. Somebody is, is seeing the reality and they're about to get practical. Really, really practical. Playtime is over.
Yeah, Ten of Swords. It's the end. This is the end. Somebody is feeling defeated. It's the end of a negative situation. And I feel like somebody has, you know, basically... <laughs> I mean, this is very, this is the end of suffering. It's the end of a painful situation. It's the end of a negative situation. Hmm. It's time to stand up. Pull yourself back up. Get back up to the top. Get back up to where you need to be. Don't keep laying on the ground. Don't keep. Don't stay where you're at. It's time to find the discipline and the willpower to stand up and do what you need to do to be successful. So I feel like that is what today is about. It's like it's. I got. I got. I can't stay here. I can't stay moping. I can't stay down. We have somebody who has brought in themselves down. That's what this is. They've brought in themselves down by making some really poor decisions. This is the page of wands reversed. Somebody has made some poor decisions. Somebody has been acting very, very impulsively. You know, not thinking before they act. And it has caused them some stress. Probably financial stress. Not only financial stress, but worry. We definitely have some worry here. Somebody has made poor decisions based on impulse, based on, um, based on desires, based on, um, You know, what looks good based on what everybody, you know, what this is competition, okay? Based on what trying to, trying to prove themselves to other people. Somebody has, has made some poor decisions and now, and now it's time to recover. Now it's time to get real. Now it's time to get practical. It's time, no more fun and games. This is fun and this is games. The funny, like I said, it's funny that I started this reading out. The fun and games are over. It's over. This has caused somebody now. Now we got somebody that is feeling, you know, probably regretful. Somebody was trying to basically, you know, present themselves to be somebody that they were not. There's image. There's an image issue here as well. It feels like somebody was, you know, it's almost like being fake. And it has cost them some money, you know, going out and having fun and, and being somebody that you're not. I don't know if that's what, what, if this is reading is for you or not. But I feel like it, it's time to get real. It's time to get practical. It's time to buckle down. It's time to um, stop being impulsive. There is no more fun and games. There's no more need to, co to compete. This is about taking back control. The King of Pentacles is very disciplined and controlling. This is about taking back control of a situation that brought you down. It really did. It was fun while it was happening, but it isn't fun anymore because now you got to recover. Ooh, Ten of Wands. This is making a conscious change. Ten of Wands reversed. Somebody is making a conscious change to change to change their direction. It's like now there it's it's time. Now it's time to let go of all this whatever it is, baggage, burden, responsibilities. I mean, the Ten of Wands reversed. This is letting go of a burden, letting go of something that is hindering your growth. It has to do with something that 
wasn't ever going to grow anyway, obviously. It wasn't ever going to grow, but it, it, it looked good. It did look good. It definitely looked good. It was attractive. Wands are attractive. So somebody is letting go of something that looked good, but it wasn't stable, and it cost them some money by the looks of things. And they were they were holding on to it because they were trying to prove something. Because this guy's always the ten of wands is trying to prove that they are that I can do this, I can do whatever, I'm strong. I trying to prove themselves. Somebody was trying to prove that you know how strong they were, or how capable they were, or how beautiful they were, or how tra trying to get kudos for something. You know, and I feel like we have somebody here now that is feeling you know. Defeated because it probably cost them some money and it cost them some energy and they really didn't get what they wanted out of it. Somebody is making a conscious change to focus on their stability now. I have got nothing left to prove. Oh, yeah, uh, somebody is now, now they got to make some better decisions and they probably have to let something go that has been costing them money that they invested in that was impulsive. Okay, so I, I really feel like somebody is about to make some sort of change. I think that they, it's time to bring balance back. Things have been unbalanced. They've been weighed down. Somebody has been weighed down. Somebody may need to drop weight. Maybe somebody has even gained some weight. You know, I'm, I'm not sure, but the Ten of Wands can also signify weight to me. Um, and, and things, it's time to bring balance back. It's time to get real. It's time to get practical. It's time to drop something. And this is dropping and this could be dropping. So somebody may need to drop something, a heavy weight. Now, weight can be your actually weight or it can be somebody that is weighing you down or something that is weighing you down. Somebody is probably making a choice or a decision to drop something that is holding them back from success. Okay, it's caused them some sort of suffering or despair or worry. Somebody has been um, really holding on to it, maybe even to protect themselves in some way or to prove themselves. I really feel like proving proving themselves is big here. Um, let me make sure that this is focused in. We have a change coming with this Two of Pentacles. Um, this definitely has to do with some sort of money, impulsive, somebody may have, somebody acted impulsively and now it's time to choose something different, choose something better. It's time to change your direction. It's time to take that step, whatever it is, to let go of whatever this is that is costing you. Okay. It could be costing you poor health. Okay. This this could be poor health or, or it could be costing you, it could be poor health. Somebody's health could be declining because they're overindulging. They've made a lot of poor choices. Um, two of Cups reversed. This could be the end of a relationship, an end of a partnership. Somebody could be dealing with somebody who is a Debbie Downer that brings them down. This could be somebody that uh, is the heavy weight. This person may be weighing you down. This is this is the end of a partnership. The, the Ten of Swords with the Two of Cups reversed. Somebody is dealing with a person that is negative. This person doesn't have anything good to say. This person has been holding them down. So I feel like today somebody is really, this guy is very practical. He's a realist. He's grounded. He's disciplined. So And he's very decisive as well. So I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision to end some sort of partnership that has been weighing them down. And a partnership doesn't actually have to be a person. Okay, if you, if this has to do with your weight, your actual weight, you may have signed up for this contract in a past life, and now you gotta you gotta find a way to break free from it. Okay, um, this is the Two of Swords reversed. This is seeing the truth. This is seeing the truth of a situation. Something is about to be exposed. 
there, something is about to be exposed about perhaps a com competition. Somebody may have been competing. If somebody may have been competing with another person or there may have been competition in a relationship and somebody gets found out, that could be the case as well. I've got thousands of people that watch this. I feel as though you know something is about to be exposed that is going to shed some light on a situation it does have to do with a partnership okay because two 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 those are partnerships twos are about unions so I feel like we have in decisions and choices somebody is about to make a decision based on something that they see I feel they may they may realize that they're dealing with somebody that has competition or they may realize that they're dealing with a player okay this is a player card and this is a player card somebody may realize because it's seeing the truth that they are dealing with a player somebody that was um, holding them down this person may have just been playing them um, this is the end of some sort of partnership with somebody who isn't really a good person this person is mean-spirited this person has a self-image problem this person um, likes to play games this person may be a player or a juggler and I feel like somebody sees it sees it you know that you're just holding me back you're holding me back from my own security so somebody may realize that it's time to let go of whoever this person is that is holding them down if it's not a person it could be could be weight okay because i keep seeing this weight um it's a heavy weight this is a burden somebody is letting go of a burden this person or this weight is a burden I'm, it's time to let go it's time to get focused it's time to get practical um so we have the sun card reversed so this is this is this somebody's health has declined or somebody is not happy somebody is dealing with somebody who is not the most positive influence in their life and I feel like somebody is about to take a step in a new direction this person sees it it's like this person's been trying to be flexible this person's try been trying to adapt to this person's energy but it's like I can't I can't vibrate I can't I, the vibration is too low it's like I can't I can't engage myself in this low vibrational situation anymore so I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to take back control of a situation that they have been stressed over I think that they have been dealing with a person or a heavy weight that has been causing them illness causing them stress causing them um, to feel uncomfortable, causing them to feel like they constantly have to prove themselves to this person. And it's like they, it's like they realize that this is not going to grow. It's not going to grow. They realize that this isn't going to lead to happiness. They, they, they see the truth and they decide to, they definitely make a decision probably to leave this situation behind. So I feel like today is a day of getting really, really real, you know, um, it's time to bring balance back. So somebody is, is deciding to do whatever they need to do to bring balance back to their life to be so that they can give to everybody that needs them in order to, to do that. You have to be balanced within yourself. I think we have somebody here that has been trying to give to another person that really hasn't been reciprocating and I feel like today is a day of realization that you know I, I, I have to do what I have to do for me I gotta do what I have to do for me I have to take this step in a new direction and if that means that I have to drop this burden to do so then that's what I have to do so I feel like that's what this is I feel like somebody is is being left behind because they aren't giving what they need to the situation it's like they're it's almost like they're using you know what I mean they're using another person and I feel like we have somebody that kind of like wakes up you know get, go, seriously with the two of swords this person just wakes up and sees that this is you know, it's all based on, I think it's based on 
whoever they're dealing with is not a happy person. This person is not a negative person. This person is a negative Nelly. This person has nothing good to say. This person is a Debbie Downer. And I feel like this person gets, the other person gets the realization, you know, it's time for me to take this next step. I can't. I can't keep playing this. I can't stand here forever and wait for this to change. I can't I can't keep juggling. I can't keep doing this. So I feel like we have somebody here that makes a decision to take back control of this situation. That's what I, that's what I got. So, yeah, that is what I got. Good luck.